do the process now so i have this scene and i created a new scene in unity this scene does not have any uh other pipeline the other way is for you to come to unity and do new and use uh universal render pipeline instead but what i did was i just created an empty pipeline where we set up for universal render pipeline i will go ahead and order my uh window packet manager and make sure you have your uh you come to your package unity registry and scroll down to urp universal render pipeline make sure you have it installed i just install mine then close it of course the easiest way is for you to do that just open a new universal render pipeline in your uh unity hub but i'm doing this in case you have a project you worked on already and you want to you know create a universal render pipeline it so what you're going to do next is once you have this now once you install universal render pipeline come to your assets right click go to create universal re rendering universal then pipeline asset once you click that this comes up just enter then the next step is for you to go to edit preference uh project settings under project settings you see graphics so you see scriptable render pipeline settings come here check click here click here so the asset you just created from here you created the other time is one of them is this so just click here you automatically have your then save asset i don't need to save asset sorry so once you have that just close so basically you have having purple because your plane here is using default material which is not going to work in a you know universal under pipeline so what you're gonna do is just right click create new material material just go on what you have so automatically you see the shader is now universal under pipeline lit so what you just do is select the material drag into the plane and you are good to go all right so we have uh, a new material which is universal under pipeline material so the next thing you are going to do is call blender select the character you want to export go to fire export fbx then select selected object on check what you don't need so once you finish on checking Make sure you have your uh, FVA unit scale on. Then go to directly where your go to directly where your file is. I'm going to come here to Unity. Uh, I'm going to do Show Explorer. Copy the directory. Go to my Blender. Paste the directory. Enter. So inside the asset, I'm going to save it. Here, FBX. Then, next thing I'm going to go to my texture paint under the texture. I'm going to go to image savers under the same directory asset. I'll say the same image. So, I'm good to go. So, if I go to Unity now and I refresh my file, is there if I come and drag it here automatically. It's assigned, it's creating new material for it. You know, if you go to the character, you see a new material, the was in a pipeline already. Now the clothes is applied. And you can see by default, this is not rendering the back. So what you just do is come here, under, come here. You know, the best way is for you to create a new material for yourself. So I'm going to create a new material or can we modify the material here? No, the material is the default material. So I'm going to create a new material. Create new material. Try this material. I just call it the cloth or whatever. Just whatever I want to name it. I'll drag my my cloth into the base map and assign it to my object again, so I can edit the cloth. So if I come edit the cloth, so with this material now you can see under here now we have cloth and under here too we have the same cloth uh material so i can go back to this material then change the surface type to 
transparent, not transparent, with the cake, then render face will be both. So basically, what you have to do next is you can see we have both sides rendered. You are good to go. So the bonus thing that I want to uh, I like is if you have alpha, just check alpha clipping, and you are good to go. So you have alpha there. So I hope that helps. Thank you.